fish in the French method, that works extremely, extremely well for shallow water, from anywhere from eight to 18 inches of water. And you've got selected fish. When rigging for the French method and fishing the coiled type indicator, you don't want to run these heavy grub style or stonefly type weighted nymphs. If you do that, it's going to just basically elongate the coil as you start fishing it and you're not going to get the benefits of it. That system was designed to be fished on a really long leader directly upstream using micro nymphs. And you might ask, what is a micro nymph? Just think of a prince nymph with a tungsten bead on it. That's basically what they are. And you can be as creative as you want with micro nymphs. I really like to tie some specialty patterns, some that look like insects in the stream, some that look like attractor patterns, but they're smaller offerings. They're usually gonna be size 14 or smaller. They will have tungsten beads, some additional weight on the hook if you want them heavy, but just a smaller offering. You're physically gonna swim those flies through the stream on this indicator. You're not gonna let them dead drift. You're gonna lob it directly upstream or slightly across, and you're gonna kinda of pull them through the water, hoping that you can get a fish to turn and eat them. But if you run those heavy grub style check flies or woven nymphs on there, the indicator's not gonna function properly. I'm gonna position myself to set up for this little run right here. I've got some current coming at me, a little transition zone right behind that big rock right there. I'm gonna run this coil right through there. This coil's made out of what's called Berkeley Solar Collector Green, so it really, really, really glows. There's a couple different materials you can make it out of. Because when you get low light conditions, we just had the sun go behind the clouds here, you can really see that coil jumping out now. It absorbs the sunlight and then it reflects it back out. With the smaller fly offerings that you typically fish on this French method, they'll get down and they'll sink pretty fast, but you're really not trying to get to the bottom. Just try to keep it right in that water column. And the bottom fly used as the anchor to help you stay there. If you can't get them to eat, try a little smaller offering on your, on your micro mayflies. Switch up the color. Change the depth of them. Sometimes don't, don't let them run so deep. Pull them up in the column a little bit. These fish look like they're hanging right here. I'm gonna bring that right down through there, lifting that rod. You can kind of see my rod's off to the side just a little bit now. I'm gonna pull that rod right back up to me. The one thing you wanna pay close attention to is not to pull the rod back to you too fast You'll have to work on adjusting the speed of how fast you lift, depending on how fast the current is. But you can see with this method, you're always behind the fish. The more line you get out, the better it'll cast. And just keep that rod tip going in an upward motion. Whether you're fishing right in front of you, or off to the side. And you got a built-in coil that's gonna allow you a little bit of extra time to get that hook set before that fish realizes that he's hooked. As with any fishing situation, Czech nymphing, Polish nymphing, Spanish, French, they're no different. When you hook a fish, um, if it's a small fish, you could play it you know, with the fly line under your finger. I always keep the fly line under my middle finger instead of my, my index finger because I like to keep my index finger up on the rod. I actually like to touch the rod blank with it so I can feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna play those smaller fish out from underneath uh, my middle finger. If you get a bigger fish on there, you need to get it in and I like to get them in pretty quickly. The flies are still sinking, they're not swinging and there's fish. That coil stretched right out. That's actually a really decent fish. Nice brownie. Now as I've got tension on this line, that coil is perfectly straight. But the way we've made these coils is, as soon as you let the tension off, the coil will come right back into it. Pretty little brown trout. 